You don't really know much about Halloween. Hello and welcome to another Sinister Snacks. I'm your host, Laura. I'm Joel. And we're the Newly Dads. We are. And we are coming to you with another snack video. Thank you for coming here. <laughs> uh, today, what are we trying? We are trying something that I saw in the store and I was fascinated. And I said, Laura, we need to buy these. And she said, you don't yep. have to yell at me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so today we're trying Big Puff Flavor Fun Pretzel Crunch Puffsles. 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 It's hard to say, but um, they are essentially what look like to be puffy pretzels, which typically pretzels are very densely packed, kind of doughy, crunchy uh, items, and puffy things are, are airy and have little porous holes in them. I'm confused. Yeah, so they are vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO verified. Uh, they are light and crunchy, not fried, made with whole grains. They have a big puff flavor. What Fun pretzel puff? crunch. Oh. And this flavor that we're going to try first, oh, it's made by Unique Snacks. It's a them. blend of sweet honey and savory mustard. So we are going to try honey mustard flavor. I'm going to read the information about the... the Did you say it's it tastes puffy, but it's got a pretzel crunch? Yeah. What does puffy Big taste like? Big puff flavor. How are you going to have a crunch when it's puffy? Fun pretzel crunch. I'm very confused by this. Six generations of the... I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. Six? Spanish family? Whoa. have been baking great pretzels since the late 1800s. In 1921, we established ourselves as the Unique Pretzel Bakery, Inc. As we evolved over the last 100 years, we became Unique Snacks and remain committed to making snacks that are simple and delicious for you. As our first-generation ancestor, George Spanath, used to say, Oh, ik bin bis uber beide oren verliebt. <laughs> he, he he can probably say which meant, it, it translates to I'm in love with this snack and we think that you will be as well I would like Joel to, pr to pronounce that Ikliba. I know it's like you know if I can read it like if I said Ikliba <clears throat> deek, deek right that means I love you right Ikliba deek yeah, yeah I, love, I love you essentially mm -hmm. uh, that's not Ik that's I bin bis uber beide oren verbeit no, very light. No, very leaped. Oh, sorry. See, I can't read it. It's yeah. too small. You want, leaped, do you yeah. want my cheaters? <laughs> no. Ich bin bis über beide Ohren verliebt. But, so am I saying, I was saying, I, 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 uh, ich, instead of like, it, 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 I. Aaron, I don't know if it, there's no umlaut. So Anyways, it's Aaron. German. Anyway, <laughs> I took German for a couple of years and it's not, obviously not stuck after. Yeah, high that school. was fun though. Uh, um, but that was fun. So anyway, back to the snacks. Let's, uh, yeah. So, um, again, it's light yet crunchy puffsoles made with whole grains, but totally gluten free. Puffsoles are your trusty sidekick for that snack attack when you need a taste, bud tantalizing, but not filling flavor packed wingman. So, as she opens this bag, so we can actually dig into these, because I am really, really curious. Yeah. Um, I'm a little shocked, because I thought this was a new product, and these guys have been around for a very a long minute. time. Um, and I'm impressed, because, I mean, I, I hope that means that they're expanding, and... They look just like they do on the front. And that they're going to branch out into other new territories, Cheers but... Cheers before you chew. Cheers before you chew. Yeah. Definitely honey mustard. So, right it's off the hot. bat, it looks like a pretzel, but it's not a pretzel. Like, I'm kind of getting, hmm, I'm kind of getting um, pretzel Cheeto? flavor a little bit, but not really. I like it. It's tasty. Yeah, I'm just a little confused by it. It's not a bad thing. It's almost like a Funyun texture. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Yeah, like if, uh, almost. If, if you guys have ever had the Snyder's uh, honey mustard and onion pretzels, 
Um, I'm going to wait and come Same back. Same flavor. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit. N not not so much with the onion aspect, but um, that that style of honey mustard. Mm -hmm. But if you were to eat it on a onion. Yeah, that's that's tasty. I dig that. And it's got a nice aftertaste too. Like I, yeah. I en I'm enjoying just sitting here with nothing in my mouth. I I'm, still have. I'm just curious as to why they want to um, call them a pretzel. I think because the company is known it's for a making pretzel. pretzels, so they were trying to come up with a way to oh, the market to a, a different a, brand or a different product, something new that looks like a pretzel but that eats like a cheese puff. Right. Here, um, I'm just gonna grab a couple. You want to take the whole bag? Sure. Yeah. And I, I'm yeah. gonna say already that I, that I feel like it's pretty successful. Yeah. As far as combining. This is the two. wild buffalo flavor. <laughs> so, a little bit spicy. She has poi chu pot too. Yep. Huh. That's a different experience than the first one. I like the first one better. All right, I'm going to say something that maybe is a little weird. The consistency of the puff is still the same. That's pretty spicy. It is spicy. Okay. And and I could be totally crazy and it could just be that I just ate honey mustard and so it's affecting my Hold on. Let me let me take a drink. Let me get another one real quick, please and thank you. And then I'm gonna say what I think I'm and then I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say, because I'm just seeing if this is accurate. Okay. So, number one, it's spicy. I'm not quite getting the buffalo thing. What I'm getting more of is canned tuna. I'm not getting that at all. It has a fishy flavor. No, it doesn't. For, for me, anyway, for my palate. It's like straight up. Um, it tastes like hot sauce. I mean, I, I get the, 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 you know, the, the it's spicy. And I kind of get it, but it's like if you took canned tuna and put some, like, Mike's red or like red hot or Mike's hot sauce. I don't know what the yeah. There's vinegar powder in it, so maybe that's what you're getting. I don't know, and I don't I don't care for that one. Hmm. It's fine, and I'm sure there are people that love it. These these are fantastic. Those I would not eat anymore. I don't hate these. I don't I don't see what you're saying with with the with the tuna. Thing. Like I said. It's yeah. probably just me, but yeah, yeah. All right. These delightful. Those okay. So bad. scale of one to ten, do them separate. Like, what would you give the buffalo? Um, the buffalo. I mean, it's it's a one for me again. I'm gonna say personal two. preference. Yeah, I'm gonna say two because I'm not. I'm not a. It just it didn't taste like anything other than heat. Yeah, like it, it didn't have a flavor. It's uh, yeah, not, yeah, not not for me. Honey mustard. This one. Um, Six and a half? Yeah, six. Because I, I feel like it's going to wreck the roof of my mouth a little bit. It's got kind of that Captain Crunch thing happening, which yeah. is not necessarily a bad thing. No. But it, um, if, upon eating a lot of it, it might be a little bit of destructive to your to your mouth, which is fine. It's a good way to go. But it, yeah, I really like the flavor, and I would I would buy that again if I saw it out in the wild at some point, maybe. That was yeah. a that was a mixed bag. That was a mixed bag. A, that's. A, Fun. Be punny, but I like trying new th new stuff. Yeah, it's good. So after this video, yeah, if they want to find us, yeah, where they were, where can they find us, Joel? Oh, I was gonna let you drive. Oh, on that. all right, thenewlydeads.com. Our newly revamped website, as Mister Newlydead likes to keep calling it. Um, I guess it's new for the first year. <laughs> we'll just keep on keeping on. Um, but it's a one stop shop. So besides just having a store, um, where we were promoting some of our um, printed goods and things like that. Um, you can download a free sticker if you want to. Uh, so, or, or I should say a free uh, PNG file that you, can do uh, that you can do with it, whatever you want, of mushrooms that I created. Uh, oh, hopefully we'll also have some new um, items that you can purchase as well. Uh, you can see our new podcast information, our event uh, section. We've got a blog. Um, he's been regularly posting if you're interested in movie reviews for um, like horror and sci-fi kind of things. Um, that's what our, our Tingler television show is all about. Yep. Um, so he also is, is doing stuff like that. 
I'm going to try to get him to put his work in progress um, information on there. He's been uh, creating this really amazing collage of uh, all sorts of obscure kind of monsters and some that are also mainstream. Uh, yeah. So uh, I want him to, uh, you know, put some information about his work in progress on there. I think Which, it would be very fascinating for people to see. The website is also a little bit of a work in progress. No yeah. Pun intended, always. But we are trying to make it into what we've always wanted it to be and it already is. Yeah. Feeling a lot, lot better. That way. Yep. Yeah, maybe because, uh, but by the time you see this, who knows? Who knows? But it also is an app, so feel free to download it to your phone and you can use it as an app. Yeah, he likes that app thing. It's fun. It makes me feel like we're like like the next level cool. now. Cool. We have an app. We have an app. These All are right. apps. Well, and until next week, we'll stop yakking. And let's get back to snacking. See you later. Every time Halloween, the festival of sour. Happy Halloween.